Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth, and it's time to go back to the theater. And it's time for another Wes Anderson film with a cast of many, as he usually does. My review of the 2023 comedy film, Asteroid City, coming up now. Following a televised production of a behind the scenes look at a writer and his world famous fictional play of Asteroid City, the play follows a grieving father, Augie Steenbeck, and his highly intelligent son and three daughters as they arrive to the desert town of Asteroid City for a junior stargazer's celebration and convention, among with other award recipients and their parents, such as famous starlet Midge Campbell in 1955. During the presentation, a UFO lands, which could change the character's world views forever. So what did I think of Asteroid City? I thought it's a stylish and enjoyable comedy. It's directed by Wes Anderson, best known for films such as Rushmore, The Royal Tenenbaums, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Moonrise Kingdom, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and The French Dispatch. I feel this will be a very divisive film with people really loving it and appreciating all of the small details or audience members hating it as there's a lot of complexity and a lot to unpack and take in with the idea of the play within a TV show. I feel like the bigger of a fan of Anderson that you are, the more you'll enjoy this. And if you're not, it probably won't win you over. Like most of Anderson's movies, the production design and set designs are fantastic with excellent style. From the spectacular costumes to all the little details, it's one of the best looking films you'll see this year. While what's taking place in the play is set in color, the behind the scenes show is presented in black and white, so as it goes on, it's easier to catch what's going on. I also found it interesting when these aspects would cross over with each other. I will say I found the portion in Asteroid City to be more entertaining and could have done less with the black and white aspects of seeing the writer and actor perspectives as it kept taking me out of the more intriguing story. Anderson's quirky and deadpan humor is definitely on display, and there are a lot of funny things going on, from sight gags dealing with the town or humorous things like how the characters react to the UFO. The alien is outstandingly hilarious as well. The dialogue is very much rapid pace, and I may actually have to rewatch it with subtitles to pick up on all of it. There's messages about going through grief throughout and trying to make connections with each other, as well as what I feel is a metaphor for COVID with being trapped in the city for a week under quarantine. While the main characters are likable, I had a lot of trouble connecting to most of them, as they feel rather hollow and lack depth. The who's who of a cast stars Jason Schwartzman as Augie Steenbeck, the war photographer grieving his newly deceased wife, Scarlett Johansson as Midge Campbell, the actress who's in the town for her daughter's presentation, Tom Hanks as Stanley Zack, Augie's father-in-law who comes to town to get the family because of their broken down car, Jeffrey Wright as General Griff Gibson, the host of the Junior Stargazer Awards, Jack Ryan as Woodrow Steenbeck, Augie's son, who has a crush on Midge's daughter, as well as the likes of Steve Carell, Tilda Swinton, Liev Schreiber, and Matt Dillon in the play, and Brian Cranston, Edward Norton, Adrian Brody, Hong Chow, Willem Dafoe, and Margot Robbie, among others in the behind-the-scenes show. Asteroid City is another visually stunning and funny work from Wes Anderson, even if it felt a bit unfocused at times. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 which gives it the A-list rating of Do It. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash WestTroopA-list. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at WestAlist. Until next time, troop out.